Hey ya! I'm Tay, I'm an indie game developer who uses RPG Maker as my game engine of choice, and I love plugins. So today, I figured I'd share three really cool plugins that improve the functionality of RPG Maker in ways that I'd consider indispensable. Lately, I've seen some of that old played out take around that says you shouldn't use plugins. Some people act like using anything beyond the baseline capabilities of RPG Maker is cheating or something. Or the even worse take goes something like, if you need a plugin to do XYZ, you should just move to a different game engine. I got into a little bit of an argument on Reddit about this one. But seriously, a ton of modern software expects that you use plugins and add-ons to expand their functionality. If you want to add a better brush handler to Photoshop, should you just quit now and use a different photo editor? RPG Maker wouldn't have such a robust plugin manager if you weren't supposed to use plugins. Use plugins in your game, it's, it's fine. <laughs> But with that little rant out of the way, let's get to the first plugin. We're going to start off so easy with a completely plug and play plugin. Have you ever noticed when you're playing an RPG Maker MV or MZ game in full screen that it gets a little bit blurry? That has to do with the way that RPG Maker scales things whenever it sizes them up, and it is so annoying. Thankfully, there is a plethora of plugins that change that rendering mode to something that looks a lot better for pixel art. The one that I'll recommend is the TDDP Pixel Perfect plugin. Just pop it over into your plugin manager, and boom, much crisper. This next one isn't plug and play, but it gives you so many options to use as a developer. And honestly, unless you're a complete beginner, which I do have a lot of people just starting out with RPG Maker watching my videos, you've probably already heard of this plugin because this next one is Yanfly's Message Core or Visu Stella Message Core if you're using MC. I honestly cannot imagine making a game without using Message Core. It adds a ton of new text codes for you to use, lets you do cool things like use a name box for your characters in the message windows, or change the way choices look. It even lets you mess with things like the alignment of your text, which I use a lot. The MZ version of this plugin has more options than the MV version, which as an MV user breaks my heart. By the way, while we're talking about Yanfly and Visustella, allow me to recommend the Yanfly core engine. It fixes a few bugs, gives you some more plugin commands, lets you set caps on things like gold and stats, and just in general is a really good little quality of life plugin to have. I assume that the Visustella one is much the same. And the final plugin that you might not know you needed, but once you start using it, you'll never be able to live without, I actually talked about in my last video on sprites. It's the Q Plus plugin. To be fair, the thing that Q Plus does that I can't live without can be achieved by other plugins. And that is the Quick Start Playtest feature, which basically skips the title screen and puts you right into a new game when you're playtesting. Now, I'm going to recommend Q Plus because that's the one that I use that has this functionality, but like I said, there are so many plugins out here that do that. So any sort of skip title plugin would work if you're not going to be using the rest of the Q suite of plugins. And that's it. We can just end the video and oh my god, this is a really short video. This isn't really a tutorial or anything. There's nothing I can teach you about how to use these plugins. They're pretty easy. Two of them are plug and play. So um, bonus time? This one isn't one of those plugins that you totally can't live without or whatever. This is just one that I think is really cool. And that is the KC Mirrors plugin for MZ or MV. If you're going to be using this plugin, put it below any of the Galv Movement plugins or Character Frames plugins or the Q plugins if you're using those. This plugin is so awesome because you can set up reflections for actors, events, or vehicles, as well as setting up the reflection Z value, which helps with things like parallax mapping. I mean, you can even change the opacity of the reflection, change which graphic you want to use for each individual actor or event's reflection. It's so cool! There's a demo file that you can download to play with and see how it works. But anyway, that's going to be it from me today. I know this was a super short video, but sometimes short is good. You guys ask me in the comments all the time about what plugins I recommend, so I figure I'll just make this a little bit of a series. Oh, and by the way, for my viewers who don't use MV or MZ, do not feel left out. In the future, I'll have some script recommendations for the older RPG makers too. All of the plugins I've talked about in this video are linked in the description below, as well as the itch.io for my game, which you can follow, 
or my Ko-Fi where you can buy me a cup of coffee if you like what I'm doing here on the channel. I also have an email in the description where you can send me your game to play on this channel or just ask me questions. That said, feel free to ask me questions in the comments too. You will see me down there always answering questions. Did you already know about all of these plugins beforehand? If you didn't, are you planning on using any of them? Or do you hate plugins in your very soul? That, that's okay too. Tell me about it in the comments. Bye!